everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm here today <laughs> to try again to film a plan with me for the week of October 16th. As you can see, I already got started and uh, just realized when I looked at the camera that all of it was insanely blurry and I could cry because not only did I lay down all these stickers, but I'm doing a really fun collab with my super awesome friend Megan from Soda Pop Studio. And I answered all her questions. <laughs> now I have to do it all over again. Urgh, it's so sad. Um, but as you can see, I'm using this <laughs> kit from Firefly Paper Shop, which is pretty much, um, you know, I've already gotten into it, as you can see. I'm so sorry, guys. I don't know what happened, but the show must go on. Um... As I said previously, I am doing this fun collab today with Megan from Soda Pop Studio. She is my home girl, and um, she's from Texas. She's a Dallas fan. My husband is from Texas, and uh, we got a bunch of hooligans at home, a bunch of kids. I'm sure you already follow Megan. She's awesome. I'm sure you've already purchased from her shop, uh, but I'll still have her video linked down below, even though I'm sure it's going to pop up in your subscription box anyway, um, but go check it out. Um, we're using the same kit this week, which is super fun. And we also came up with some fun questions to answer. So definitely going to be doing that as well. As I said, I have already answered them, but I'm going to answer them again for you. So as you can see, I have laid down my um, full boxes, my checklist, and my headers. I do realize that the today are along the bottom and the little bits are along the middle. And I did that on purpose because... I wanted the orange in the middle. That is my printer in the background that you probably hear because I'm working. Um, I spent the whole better half of the morning at a board of trustee meeting for the school district. And uh, needless to say, I'm working now. So I'm filming this a little bit later than I had planned, but it's all good. So. Let me just go ahead and jump right back to, back into this bad boy. Um, again, I'm super sorry that I have to redo this. I'm mean, not like it matters to you guys. You guys won't notice the difference, but I'm going to jump right into Megan's questions. Um, her first question is, what is your favorite fall scent? And I mentioned that uh, I like apple scents. Um, I like apple cider scent. I like like apple and cinnamon. Um, I like the smell of apple, like fresh apple. Um, you can make apple cider in, at home um, in your crock pot and that'll make your house smell really good. So lots of different ways to make your house smell like apple, but that is my favorite small, small fall scent. I actually like it through the holidays, so even through December. Really quickly, um, I had purchased these from Rose Colored Days. These are these awesome, these are these, uh, Halloween gold foiled headers. And I have not used them yet because they were hidden away Then I forgot that I had them. So I'm going to use them today because I'm, I love them and I don't want to, I want to use them as much as I can. So I'm going to use these cute ones here with the little jack-o'-lanterns, which is perfect because we're going to the pumpkin patch this week. So I just felt like a good time to use it um let's move on so the next question is what is the fall tradition you have with your family um my family we're big if you didn't already know we're huge halloween fans <laughs> surprise and one thing that we have is like a how i gotta move these down because they're gonna show we have a halloween movie bucket list uh and we literally have like all of our favorite halloween movies that we try to watch every year and um we're doing pretty good like we have hit up all of the halloween towns except for return to halloween town we haven't watched that one yet that one's not my fave um but we watched all three of the others and then we've watched hocus pocus we watched we've watched um the nightmare before christmas like four times because my toddler my three-year-old is obsessed we have watched corpse bride adam's family and then i think this weekend we're going to watch monster house i'm trying to decide if my big kids 
Uh, they're almost 11 and almost 9. I'm trying to decide if they're old enough yet to watch Beetlejuice. I haven't seen it in a really long time, so I need to, like, watch. I know there's a lot of, like, innuendo, but I haven't watched it in a really long time. So I feel like I need to give it a shot before I say, hey, kids, you want to watch this movie? <laughs> because um, it may not be appropriate. So I got to check. But that's one of my favorite fall traditions. Another one of my favorite fall traditions is dressing up as a family. We always dress up as a family for Halloween, and that's always been a lot of fun. So, And I love to go to my kids' Halloween parties at school. Those are always a lot of fun, too. So just laying down my bottom washi. I don't know why this one feels so awkward to me right now. Um, okay, there we go. This is looking so good. I'm glad I used those. The next question says, if you had to drink one fall drink all season, what would it be? Um, hands down, mine would be cold apple cider. I love the taste of cold apple cider. I know that probably sounds really strange, but um, I like apple cider and I like hot apple cider too, but only if I'm really cold because it can really like heat you up. <laughs> so I like... Uh, cold apple cider. I'm going to go ahead and do my sidebar here. And um, one year, we have this place here in Vegas called Gilcrease Orchard, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's an orchard. And we go there every year to get like apple cider donuts and they make fresh apple cider. I make my own apple cider too, but you can go there and get it. And um, you can buy pumpkins there too. We don't buy pumpkins there just because they charge you by the pound which probably doesn't sound that terrible, but it is because pumpkins are heavy. <laughs> and so um, I don't want to spend that much money on a pumpkin that I'm literally going to carve up and it's going to rot on my front porch. So we buy our pumpkins at Walmart. If you didn't know, you can buy pumpkins at Walmart. Anyway, uh, but one year we went and we they make homemade um, apple cider and we purchased them but they had run out. So they had to give us some that was frozen and it was exceptionally hot that day. So we um, put it kind of out in the sun and we let it melt. And as it melted, we drank it. So it was like really, really cold. And it was so delicious and so refreshing. Um, so I would say cold apple cider would be my jam if I had to pick one drink only for fall. Also, if you've ever had fall sangria, it, that's also delicious. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, you can look it up on YouTube, not on YouTube, on Pinterest. Mm, that is super, super good too. Um, I'm just working on my sidebar now since I already did all the other stuff. Uh, what is your favorite fall accessory? Scarf, boots, sweaters, etc. I would say my favorite accessory is like a big... My husband calls them a cat sweater, a cat lady sweater. <laughs> um, I like big oversized sweaters that I can put like over my, not ones that are like a pullover, but ones that I can like wear over my clothes. Um, those are my favorite accessory, like big sweaters like that, that are really comfy. Um, like I said, my husband calls those cat sweaters cause he's weird. I'm gonna go ahead and do the side over here. Um, and I was looking for habit trackers and I, am I blind? Here, here we go, here we go. They're right here, okay. So I think I'm gonna put a little strip of washi first and then I will do the habit trackers. And I think I'm gonna use the candy corn because I don't have the candy corn box on, on this side, so. Um, I lost what I was saying. My, the next question, oh, that's my favorite scarf. I'm My favorite accessory, sorry. I do like scarves, don't get me wrong. Um, and I wear them, like in the morning in Vegas, it can be really cold in the fall and the winter, like it can be in the 20s. And so I will wear them, but they're not, they, they're not my favorite because my hair gets tangled like underneath in the back after wearing a scarf for like a decent amount of time. So they're not my favorite thing to do but or to wear, but I do like them. 
definitely think those oversized sweaters are my favorite. And, uh, yeah. Um, at Thanksgiving dinner, what is your favorite dish that you can't get enough of? OMG, I have two. Okay. So my contribution to Thanksgiving dinner is I make three to four dishes. Um, four. I make four dishes every year. I always make ham because I'm not the biggest fan of turkey. So I make ham and my kids all love ham too. So I make a ham and I also make uh, sweet potatoes like yams, like sweet yams um, with like butter and brown sugar deliciousness. They call like it's that, it's that recipe that you put the, um, what's it called? The marshmallows on top. But I'm not really the biggest fan of the marshmallows on top, so I don't do that part. I leave the marshmallows out. Uh, I just realized that this has the little header section, this weekly box, and I want to take it off. But I had my, yes, my ruler. Woohoo! Right here. So I'm going to actually just use my X Acto blade. Whoa. Hopefully try to stay against the... So anyway, so I love that. And then my other favorite is this, this dish called company corn. Um, did I cut through my planner? No, okay. Which is going to sound kind of strange if you've never heard of it before, but it's basically a cream corn, but it's using um, cream cheese. It's so good. So you can like use fresh corn that you shuck yourself, or you could use, um, or you can use like cream corn, I'm sorry, canned corn, frozen corn, you know, whatever you want. But it's delicious. So there's that. Uh, I think I'm gonna put this other box over here. And then I was thinking I would do, that is so crooked. I don't know what my deal is right now with the crooked stickers. Crooked, crooked, crooked. Uh, anyway, so those are my favorite. And then I always make a green bean casserole, which I also love. But it, oh my gosh, Tiffany. Somewhere along the line it went super crooked. I'm leaving it. I'm not pulling it up again because I'm lazy. Anyway. Um, maybe I'll put some more deco down here. Should I put the vine? Mm. Um, yeah, so I like green bean casserole. It's just not like, it's not one that I can't get enough of. I cannot get enough of the corn and the yams. Like, those are my jam. And that concludes Megan's questions. Let me find my questions. Okay. I was hoping to be done with the questions by the time we got to the day by day, which I would have been, except that I got screwed up. <laughs> uh, so my questions are, tell one funny story from your past fall or Halloween seasons. Um, and I don't know why I came up with this question, because I don't know if I can think of something funny. But one year we dressed up as the Adams family like my, my little family did, my kids and my husband and I. And my son was Pugsley. I'll try to put in a picture. And if you know Pugsley's um, like outfit from the movie, he wears like black shorts or pants. Black shorts, I think. And it's like a striped shirt, and then he has his hair a certain way. Um, and if you didn't know that's who he was, like if you just saw him in his outfit, you may not have known that that's who he was supposed to be. So he would go up to the door and like say trick or treat and people would look at him like, uh, what are you? You know what I mean? Like what am I, my daughter, she was Wednesday. And if they were together, then you could kind of get it. Um, but the whole night she just kept telling everybody he's Pugsley, he's Pugsley. Oh my gosh. I felt so bad. I was like, well, I dropped the ball as a mom because you can't tell what my kid was, but, uh, it's not the end of the world. Should I put these up here? I don't want to cover too much of the, I don't want to cover too much of the jack-o'-lantern, but I do need to know the date. 
Okay, next question is, do you have a type of music you like during fall? I do, I do, I do, I do. So I am a very big, like I love music. Um, I was in choir my whole life and I love music and I feel like the, like music needs to match your feelings, you know? So during the fall, I love a lot of jazz and a lot of like, mostly jazz. I love Diana Krall, if you know who that is. I love Diana Krall. Right now in my car, this is not jazz, but right now in my car I have Nora Jones. Um, excuse me, I, I just like kind of like that feel good, like soft, romantic, um, that kind of music. There's the dog shaking. So that's my jam for the fall for sure. Favorite foods to make in the fall. I love soups. I am on a soup rampage right now. This week I made, um, I'm going to go ahead and put in dance for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, I made soup three days this week. <laughs> I made chicken and wild rice soup. I made enchilada soup and I made, um, what was the other soup I made? Oh, broccoli and cheddar. And, um, I just, I really love soup like a lot. So I make a lot of soups in the fall. I also make this veggie stew with like these cheese scones that you bake on top of the stew, like in a Dutch oven and you bake it in your, like you put it, you cook it on your stove, but then you bake it in your oven at the end. And it's so, and so like the scones bake on top. And so they're kind of. Um, they're soft and yet they're kind of crispy on the top. Oh my gosh, it's so good. It takes forever to make because you have to dice all, it's a bunch of root vegetables and then scones take forever to make because you have to make the dough and you got to roll it out and you got to cut them and like, oh, it's such a process, but it's so worth it <laughs> because it's so good. Um, I pulled out these, these are just, these look crooked to me. I don't know what my deal is. I pulled out these bows from Clever Gal Crafts and I was thinking I would use the orange, but now that I'm looking at it, it's definitely more of a coral. So I'm just gonna go with the cream. Uh, and I kind of feel like I wanna put it to the side because I used labels. So I'm just gonna put the bow, oop to the side and that is for this is for ballet at 6 30 this is tap and acro at 5 15 and this is for jazz at seven okay the next question says, outside of planning, what are your hobbies? Um, I have a passion for all things crafty. I love to make sugar cookies, like full on decorated sugar cookies, um, a lot. And so I'll do those for parties. I will, I've made them for other people, like for their kids parties and, um, I really, really, really enjoy making those. So that's one thing. I like to do big parties, like birthday parties. This year we're doing a Halloween party for my kiddos, and so that should be fun. Um, this week is the book fair, so I'm going to go ahead and put that right up here because this is the start of the book fair, and I believe that my daughter has to be there early because I believe she's working the book fair every day with student council but I, I don't remember, so I have to double check with her when she gets home today. Um, and let's see, what are my other hobbies? Um, I, I don't know what my other hobbies are. I just, Netflix and chillin', does that count with a glass of wine? Uh, tell one surprising fact about you. This was me, I, I made that question and I'm like, what's a surprising fact about myself? Uh, <laughs> one surprising fact about myself is that I am a professionally trained singer. Y'all, 
I got so into talking about myself that I just kept on planning and didn't even tell you. So really quickly, I put in this book fair sticker from Nikki Plus 3 from her um, back to school stickers. I put in this work all day sticker from Planning World. It's gold foiled. And then I put in on Wednesday, I'm supposed to volunteer in the afternoon. My son has a baseball game. This is from, this ball is from Nikki Plus 3. This is volunteer stickers from Nikki Plus 3. And then my husband also has a doctor's appointment. So sorry about that, y'all. Let's go ahead and move on. But yes, I was just saying that I am a professionally trained singer. And I've been singing since I came out of the womb. And um, I, I'm very self-conscious about my singing, believe it or not, because uh, I think I'm mostly sub like self-conscious about it because I'm very I'm a very loud singer. Um, and so I get nervous like about people looking at me or watching me sing. I don't know. I just um, I just get nervous when people watch me sing, and so I don't really do it a lot. But I did audition for American Idol, believe it or not, and um, obviously I, <laughs> I didn't make it because y'all didn't see me on TV, so uh, I didn't make it. They told me, your voice is fantastic. This is literally what they said, but you're boring, which they're right. I mean, I was boring. I am boring. I have no, like... No story. I um, I auditioned the year that Fantasia won, and if you if you remember Fantasia's story, like she had a really sad story, and that she like of overcoming and like, yeah. Um, I couldn't beat that. I couldn't beat that. So, anyway, that's one fun fact about me. And if you're curious, I auditioned with a Christina Aguilera Christmas song called "Merry Christmas, Baby." I like to sing Christina Aguilera, and I like to sing very loud and belt, belt it out. Um, Wednesday, I'm sorry, Thursday, I'm putting in story time. Uh, and I'm trying to remember if this is the costume story time or not. Let me look. No, next week is the costume uh, story time, so i got to remember that. But I'm putting in story time. And then this Thursday, we are going to the pumpkin patch. Yay! So I was looking for my Planning World stickers. There's this one here that says pumpkin picking. And we're going to go do that. So I figure I should put this down here. Like so. That should be fun. And we're not going to buy pumpkins, but that's the closest thing I have to a pumpkin patch sticker. So that will do. On Friday, oh, sorry, guys, that's also the last of the questions. So now we can now I can focus on one thing because doing the two things was really throwing me off. So <laughs> now I can focus on one thing. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday is the Planner Girl exclusive sale, and um, I hope you guys are excited and ready. I am going to have new releases. That actually reminds me that I want my new release video to go up probably on Wednesday. Yes. Okay. Hold on. Let me, um, let me think here for a second. So Tuesday, I know this is an Instagram sticker, but it's a camera. I'm going to put that up there and I'm going to put on here, um, film, and edit new releases. And then this day I'll have the new release video up. And I'm gonna close the shop on Monday. That's actually another thing I wanna put in. I'm gonna close the shop on Monday in preparation for the sale. So that way I can make sure that all previous orders are done and I can get all the new releases up. So what can we put in there for the closing of the shop? Let's, hmm, maybe I will put nothing. Maybe I'll just write closed shop. Yeah, I think that's, I'm just going to write it in there. Because I don't have an Etsy sticker. 
I was looking. I got to get some Etsy stickers. I want a foiled Etsy sticker. Oh, maybe we can put a little asterisk. There we go. And I'm just going to write close shop. There we go. Okay. And then Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday is the Planner Girl exclusive sale. So I want to put that in every day. Um, every day. I shouldn't have used that asterisk because I could have used it. I'm trying to decide how I want to mark this in my planner because I want it on there every day. So I remember when I, like I see it and I can um, market it. Okay. So I think I'm going to use a little thing um, and I'm going to write on it here on the table just to make my life easier. And I'm just going to write uh, P G E P G E P G E and P G E. Okay. And I have to double check. I can't remember if it goes through Monday or not. Um, it might. It very well might. So I have to check it. I'm just going to put this right here at the top of my to-do list so I see it every day. And it's in this bright orange, so I won't forget. <laughs> and I'll see it, and I will market it in on my um, Instagram. So let's use this asterisk. And I'm probably going to have to peel up that other asterisk. And I'll do that in a minute because I'm probably going to need some undo for that. These are pretty glossy. So the PGE sale runs all weekend. Um, so that's important. And then for Friday, it is the fall festival and at my kiddo's school. So I'm going to use this movie marquee. And I thought maybe I would just like layer it over the pumpkin. Can you even tell it's a pumpkin? I'm trying not to bend my paper. I don't like to bend my paper when I peel up stickers because I'm weird. Okay, let's put this down here. And I think I'm just going to decorate it with a little bit of the dots. Is that silly? Can you answer me, please? <laughs> um, and you know, I didn't even check to see if the stickers that um, I have from Nikki have a fall festival sticker, like in her um, back to school stickers. But I need to look because I'm wondering, I'm seeing if there's one on here. Go for a hayride, uh, drink apple cider. Well, those are all awesome, but they're not. Okay, hold on, I've got her stickers over here. Oh, I also have these from, uh, from Shop Jessica Hearts. And um, I have this little one here from Nikki Plus 3. That was a freebie. Okay, here are, let's see. We've got the breaks, but no fall festival, I don't see. Okay. I just wanted to check first. So maybe, maybe we'll do a little bit of layering and we'll put, hmm. Um, no, I do love that little banner though. Maybe we'll do, the kids are going to go in costumes. So I think I'm going to use this little boy in his mummy costume, which is so, I mean, it could be a girl. I'm saying a boy, but it could be a girl. That is so cute. And I'm just going to write on here, fall festival. 
uh, and it's from five to seven. All right, that's super cute. And what else do we have this day? I lost my list, I buried it. Uh, that's all I have for Friday so far, so far. For Saturday, oh, you know what? I'm gonna have to donate Halloween candy. And I know we have a buy Halloween candy sticker on that list from Planner Girl, I mean, sorry, from Planning World. We have this buy Halloween candy. And I need to buy Halloween candy to donate. I think I'm gonna put it up here. Is it too much? But it's so cute, I wanna use it. It's so big. I don't know, I wanna cover my, I don't like to cover my full boxes. Okay, we'll save this one for when we have to buy it for Halloween. Um, but also at the fall festival, they have like a little haunted house and stuff. So I was thinking maybe we could do this haunted house. Uh, it's too much, it's too much. You know what, I think maybe I'll put it in my monthly. Okay, um, for Saturday, Saturday's a busy day. Saturday we have the pumpkin chunkin in the morning and then we have a baseball game. So pumpkin chunkin is with Boy Scouts and that should be fun. That probably sounds ridiculous to you, but it's literally where you get to go like cannonball um, pumpkins. It's a blast. Okay, let's see. What should we do for pumpkin chunkin? Um, we have this giant pumpkin, but I did just use a pumpkin, so I don't know if we should... I used this big old pumpkin right here, so that seems a bit redundant. I do have these pumpkins on here that we could use. Um, maybe I'll use this little pumpkin here. These are from Virgo and Paper. Put this little pumpkin there. And maybe we'll use a fun icon. Maybe we'll use the little heart just because it's fun. So let's write pumpkin chunkin. I'll add some pictures in the next uh, plan with me of that. And I don't know exactly. I think it's at eight, but I, I don't want to put that in there because I don't know for sure. And then we have baseball. So let's use a label. And I'm just gonna put it down here at the bottom. We have baseball at 12.30, I believe. So I'm just gonna write at 12 because we do have to be there early. We always do like warm up and practice. And then for Sunday, it's just game day. So, got to watch my fantasy football, which I am kicking Boutte in, which is awesome. So, let's use another game day sticker. Uh, maybe I'll put it on this little glittery. Um, yeah, so I am, I'm in second place, you guys. Last week, I was the only one that broke 100 points. I got like 130 points. And if you know anything about um, fantasy football, that's pretty good. So I'm killing it. And the week before, I took out the undefeated. So that was fun. And then it's also the start of The Walking Dead. So I'm really hoping that we go somewhere this season. I mean, last season was good, but I feel like it's getting a little bit redundant for me. So I'm hoping that as much as I love the show, I do hope that the last season is coming soon so that we can like have a, a wrap up. You know what I mean? If a show goes on forever, then you tend to repeat yourself and the storyline might just go on and on and on. And you know, there comes a point where you have to wrap it up. So I'm hoping that we are moving towards closure. Uh, I don't know that we are, but 
I, and I don't know that anybody else would feel that way. I don't know that I'd feel that way about, um, about Game of Thrones. I think I'd actually let that go on forever. <laughs> okay, guys, so here's our spread so far. I do have a bunch of things that I want to fill in in the to-do list, but I'm going to do those off camera. Um, I did just realize that for my uh, checklist, I didn't put in my my morning and evening routine. So let me find those from Rose Colored Days. These were custom that I had her make. Okay, so yet again, the camera overheated. I had to turn it off for a while and now the battery is super dying. So it is time to wrap this up. Off camera, I went ahead and put in my morning routine and evening routine stickers from Rose Colored Days. I was saying that Lauren's awesome. I'm sure you've purchased from her before. If you haven't, I would highly recommend checking her out if you like foiled stickers. Um, I've got her stickers here. She also is the um, shop owner I got the date covers from. I did go in and put in some icons from Planning World, um, just some things that I needed to get done, like ordering supplies, printing the freebie, do, working on new releases, and all that good stuff. So I put all that on there. Um, okay, so um, it's the next day. <laughs> my <laughs> my camera died and um it was like 20 minutes before the kids were going to be home from school so I was like forget about it and um I just stopped filming and I just charged the camera overnight so that we could come back and um, go over everything today um I did just finish it up because I just needed to get things on here and then I did actually change some things. So um, I completely spaced that my kids are having a Halloween party on the 21st. My daughter had asked, um, we asked if they could have a Halloween party. My husband and I used to have a Halloween party every year. Um, and then it just became too much when we had as many kids as we have, like, getting babysitters and all that fun stuff. So we stopped doing it. And then my daughter was like, I really want to try having a Halloween party and she's going to be 11 in February. So I was like, you know what, let's do it. So I forgot that we did that. Um, the other thing was I talked to my husband about the pumpkin chunkin and, um, it's all the way up at Mount Charleston, which is about an hour and 15 minutes away from us. And there's just no way that we're going to be able to get there and get back for baseball in time. Um, so we're not going to be able to do the pumpkin chunk in this year, unfortunately. So I took that off. And then um, I put in the party. And I used this freebie here from Nikki Plus 3. And I used that little banner that I loved. And then I also used this sweet girl here that says carve pumpkins. Because we'll definitely carve some pumpkins for the party. And we're thinking about doing a pumpkin carving contest. Um, so stay tuned to tell you all about that. And then I did also remove the pumpkin that was back there, um, in the decorations cause it just looked busy and it was just too much. So because this is the day before the party, I will be spending this day doing a ton of cleaning and getting the house ready, um, and setting up for the party. So that Saturday we can just, you know, focus on getting food prepped and having a good time and not being super stressed out. Um, my daughter also reminded me that she has a student council meeting this day and she has to be at school early every day because she's working the book fair. She's also working the fall festival. So I got to make sure I, she wasn't sure what time she had to be there yet. So I got to figure all that out. And then I went in and I put in, um, some things that I need to do for the, um, PGE sale. So my writing looks terrible this week. I don't know what it is uh, with this week, but my writing looks horrific. And when my writing looks really messy, it makes me feel kind of frantic. Like I was writing in a hurry, which makes me feel like, oh my gosh, I've got a lot to do. And that made me feel a little bit frantic. So I don't know what was up with that, but um, hopefully it gets better. Like this week, today I got a bunch of stuff like looks frantic as well. I was looking over previous weeks. I'm like, oh, this looks nice. I don't know what happened to that. I'm wondering if part of it is my pen. I don't know, but I need to figure all that out. So I am loving the way that this turned out. The colors are amazing. I told my daughter I kind of want to make these um, caramel apples for 
Halloween party. I don't know. We'll have to see how it all turns out. I'll definitely tell you guys all about it and share some pictures that I can. I don't want to put other people's kiddos on YouTube, but I can definitely show you some pictures of mine. So stay tuned for that. If you're not in my uh, Facebook group, make sure you go join. And until, oh, make sure you go check out Megan's video. I will have that link down below. It'll be the very first link in the description box. And um, I don't forget to put the Planner Girl exclusive sale in your planner. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great day. Take care. Bye.